Welcome to Neff Talk Live. I'm Blaine McDowell, and today we're going to be talking about PIAB, an industry leader in gripping, lifting, and moving solutions, and how to specify the components to perfectly fit your application. Today I'm joined by Jason Hamilton, NEF Technical Sales Specialist. Jason's going to go over a few considerations to make when selecting PIAB suction cups. Thanks, Blaine. Yeah. I've been with NEF almost 10 years now, and the one area where I, I see most of my customers struggle is the area of vacuum. Um, they understand compressed air pretty well, but vacuum is, a, is a quite a different animal. Today I want to go over some of the tripping points that my customers tend to have when dealing with vacuum, and I also want to kind of introduce some of the products that uh, PIAB has available in case uh, some people who are watching uh, aren't real familiar with uh, um, what vacuum entails and what the equipment that is uh, properly used with a vacuum application. Sounds great. Let's get into it. Okay. So let's get into some basic vacuum technology. There's several different types of pumps and cups available. We're going to start with what is called a centralized pump, which is this unit here. This unit is designed to have multiple cups running from the same pump. This unit here is what's called a decentralized unit, which is designed to have one cup and one pump. This is the most effective and efficient way to uh, utilize vacuum because your source of vacuum is closest to your uh, product that you're trying to pick up. This is another um, type of pump. This is an inline pump. It works perfect for um, lightweight and applications where you don't have a lot of space. You can just tie strap it to your machine and utilize it that way. This is a, another interesting unit, um, which is, has a foam um, platform, which picks up all sorts of different types of materials. Uh, we've actually used it in uh, picking up uh, stuff like uh, glass tubes and things along those, along those lines. Different types of um, cups. We have multi-bellows cups, and we have um, no bellows cups, and everything in between. You can have single or double bellows. And there's different durometers, which is the uh, softness of the lips itself, depending on what you're trying to pick up and how much wear you want to um, incur, you're going to go with a different durometer of lip. And this is also an interesting cup that PIAB has. It's called the bag lip cup, used for picking up like your cellophane-y type materials. So the technology within the pump itself is this cartridge right here. It's called a coax cartridge. And the coax cartridge utilizes these flat valves that are inside of it. And the flat valves is what creates the vacuum, depending on how they're op opening and closing with the compressed air going through. So next I want to go into some basic uh, vacuum cartridge technology. Um, vac this is a PIA vacuum cartridge and what people don't understand, a lot of people don't understand, is that um, there's multiple cartridges. Each application isn't all the same, so we have multiple cartridges to handle different applications. We have the XI cartridge, which gives you extra vacuum level and also will allow you to um, utilize the higher PSI levels uh, on your machine. We have the SI cartridge, which is good for like porous applications like uh, cardboard or something along those lines. It gives you extra flow and is good in the more middle ranges of the PSI level. And then you have the PI cartridge, which is utilized more for your lower PSI applications um, around the 50, 60 PSI range. And then the fourth cartridge available is the TI cartridge, which is more of a dirt tolerant car cartridge. It has a little bigger ID or ID on the inside to allow flow to come all the way through the cartridge itself. Now the way the technology works is the inlet air comes in here and the exhaust comes out here. So you see it's all in a straight line. So it's, it's a technology that's very tolerant to any type of dust or dirt because it just ejects it right out the end of the um, housing itself. So the cartridge is actually inside this housing. You can also put a, put a tube on the end of this housing to divert whatever is going to come through here. Let's say you have wood chips or whatever in your application. You suck up wood chips, you don't want to pelt somebody with a bunch of wood chips. So um, you would actually can pipe this off to outside of your, your machine area. So let's get into this. Vacuum applications seem to be the most trouble spot that I have with my customers. And there's a few tripping points that they tend to fall on. Um, I like to use the example of a milkshake. Now with a milkshake, you're not going to drink your milkshake with a bar straw because you're not going to get any flow of that milkshake. What you want to do is use the largest straw possible to get as much flow as you can. Same thing with the tubing that you're using in your vacuum system. 
your tubing wants to, you want it to be the largest IED tubing possible. And you don't want to wrap your tubing up in, into um, circles like this because you're restricting the flow. What you want to do is you want to have straight lines as much as possible. You want to use straight fittings and not 90 degree fittings because that causes restrictions. And you, you also want to, when you're using a centralized pump, you want to make sure when you're going from the pump to multiple cups that you want to keep your hose length equal because if you don't, on the shorter lengths, you're going to have better suction than on the longer lengths. Another example I like to use is the highway example. You wouldn't enter the highway coming to an abrupt stop and then trying to make a 90 degree turn. You want to flow onto the highway. So this causes a restriction, but this Y fitting is perfect for vacuum because vacuum doesn't like restrictions and likes to keep its flow up for to, to have the best vacuum application um, success. This is a manifold, and when you, when you pipe your manifold, you want to make sure to always pipe the manifold from both sides, because that's going to allow equal vacuum uh, pull from each fitting. If you plug off one side, you're going to have more, f more vacuum flow here than you are here. Keep that in mind when you're um, trying to work with vacuum. Next, I would like to go into some basic application scenarios here, um, some of the tripping points people end up having issues with. A lot of people see a rectangular cup like this and think, I have a very thin part, maybe like this box, and this cup fits very well on this box, so I'm going to try to pick out this cup. The issue with using a rectangular cup is the vacuum source is in the middle, so you get very good suction in the middle area, but you don't get great suction on the outsides. This kind of type of cup is, is generally wants to, you want to use it for an application where you're only going in one direction. So let's say you're on a robot and you're, and you're moving really quickly in one direction. This is a great cup for that, but not for necessarily something like this. What I recommend for this is using two separate cups because now the vacuum source that you have is actually in two different areas. So you're going to have much better gripping with using two cups than you are with just using one. And also, a lot of people like to go with the, the, your standard cup with no bellows. The issue with this is there's really no compliance to this cup. So I always like to recommend to people at least go with the single bellows because you're going to get a little more compliance with your uh, application and that's going to serve you better in the future, especially if, if things change on your application. Next thing I'd like to talk about is some maintenance, some general maintenance things with vacuum that maybe people aren't going to think about. First thing is when you're using vacuum, you don't want to use pipe tape. You'd rather use pipe dope. So what happens is if you have a little string that's hanging off your pipe tape and that ends up breaking off in your lines, it's going to get caught in your coax cartridge. And what's going to happen is it's going to get caught in those flat valves that we talked about earlier. And it's going to cause uh, those flat valves not to close all the way, which is going to cause you a loss in vacuum. I've seen that numerous times out on the field. Another thing that you want to think about is when cleaning these flat valves. They're very easy to clean. Just take some soap and water and, and uh, clean these uh, uh, flaps. And then when you put it back together, you need to make sure to line up the flaps with this hole. If the flaps are offset or not lined up with the hole, um, that's going to cause you a loss in vacuum in your system. Seen that also numerous times out on the field where a customer says, something happened, I all, of, I all of a sudden don't have vacuum anymore. And I come out and someone had taken this apart and cleaned it and put it back together um, not correctly and caused them some issues. Another thing I'd like to mention is the PIEB 30-day test and trial. I have a lot of customers who come to me asking for samples and demos. And you know, we can only loan out so much. There's only so many that we have. But PIEB offers a 30-day test and trial, which means you release a PO, and PIEB will send you whatever it is that you need, a vacuum cup, a vacuum pump, and you keep it for 30 days. And if you uh, decide that you want to use it, then you just uh, release the PO. And if you decide uh, you don't want to use it, then you would just ship it back to PIEB and, there, and there's no charge. Jason, thanks for the great tips and considerations on selecting PIEB suction cups. I mean, this is exactly the sort of information our customers should keep in mind when trying to select uh, lifting solutions. Thanks, Blaine. The one thing that NEF does really, really well is application support. Um, your NEF representative is always there for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or you can also give your local representative a call to help you with your vacuum application issues. Thank you.